Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Zerogue Media Channel. Today, I'm doing my top five Colin Baker stories. A lot of people don't like Colin Baker's doctor, but I, th I think he's really good as a doctor. So, my fifth favourite Colin Baker story is... The Mark of the Rani, right here. This story is really forgettable, but it's still enjoyable when you watch it, basically. I don't remember a lot what happens, and I just enjoyed it when I watch it. The key tomorrow is greater than Rani in it. The cliffhanger part when is greater than the doctor going down the mine. All tied to the minecart. Yeah, that's all I can pretty much remember about it. It's quite a bland story to be honest, but it's enjoyable when you watch it. My fourth favourite Colin Baker story is... Mind Warp. It was not a trial of a time. I'm not going to consider Mind Warp a story though, so I'm going to consider a trial of a time a story. Shit. My entire Colin collection has jumped off the shelf. So I got the entirety of the trial of a time lord. So this story is season 23 in this entirety. Sadly, by here, it was held up by trial of the time lord. Obviously, parts. Parts 1 to 4, Great Mysterious Planet. The mystery of when it turns out to be Earth at the end. I just like the build up to that. This is probably my favourite part of it Mind Walk, with the return of Sill, who we'll get to later. Brian Blessed's in this is Departure of Perry. Also, it's the story that the Doctor got captured in, because it's the present story. Basically, this is the past story, present mind warp. The future is Terror of the Bird Voyage, my least favorite from the ter Trial of a Time Lord, not Terror of a Time Lord. This one, I like the Bird Voids in it. I just don't like Mel in it. I love the cliffhanger part three, though, where Mel is screaming and then it perfectly tunes into the theme song. Yeah, then you've got The Ultimate Foe. Which is okay, it's Robert Holmes' last story. That's about it. Number three, I have to go with. I'll find it. Oh, Revelation of the Daleks. This story is really dark, the idea of Davros kidnapping people's people that are dead and Feeding their own relatives it and turning some of them into Daleks. I just find that a really dark theme and the dog is written this the floor of this is part one and is pretty much just Doctor Perry walking around with stuff going on in the background. So yeah. Number two has to be Attack of the Cybermen. I think this is a really underrated Cyberman story in my opinion. So this I think it's funny that DVD is rated a U, even though some of the scenes are really violent and dark. I guess seen a part two where Jet the Cyber the crush is lit in his hand and you can see it bleeding. I, was, I, I don't know how that got away of being a, a U on the how it got made it a U on DVD and VHS, I believe. The cryons are a bit weird, but they work. The, the Cybermen are again really dark in this. I guess seen a cryon, whatever. Right, the dot the punisher because cryos need to be below freezer to survive and you see a cyberman grab a cryon and put it outside the freezer and you can see it boiled to death. Yes. And Colin Zero is pretty dark. So this is probably a great cyberman story that's really underrated. My favourite is obviously Vengeance on Varos. The only Colin story to get a special edition release. I've spoken to this a lot, like it's a commentary and the government and also the media. Still the greatness. Part I find part one is great to the doctor apparently dying. So yeah. So 
80% people watch my videos aren't subscribed, so please subscribe, like the video, share the video, and goodbye.